Hey, it's Emily. It's Thirsty Thursday, and we are all thirsting for more joy, adventure, goodness. Uh, in, you know, it all starts within, right? You do not wait for someone to hand you the invitation for good things to happen. You initiate it. No one is handing you anything, so get over yourself. Make that magic happen. So as you know, or maybe you don't, I am in Florida at a Tony Robbins event. Um, I joined his Mastery University after a really powerful experience with him in November at Unleash the Power Within down in Newark, New Jersey, and it shook me to my core. So I knew I needed to do something, take massive action, as Tony would say, right? So I joined his Mastery University, so I've got a bunch of live events this year. Anyway, it was divided into two. Life Mastery was the first section of our, or the first portion of our nine day experience. And if you've ever been or worked with Tony or wa uh, watched anything, he talks about if you want to make changes in your life, you have got to change your physiological state, your focus, and your language. So when you think about that combination, right, you want to really get clear about all the things that you do desire and feel it in your body, use language that supports where you're going, and focus your time and attention on it. Because again, you have got to take action, right? Thinking about it is not enough. Journaling about it is not enough. Meditating about it is not enough. Those are beautiful starts to creating a life you want, but really it's all about taking massive action. So naturally, you can imagine, climbed a 50 foot pole if you watch that little video, um, and lots of hugging, high fives, dancing, all that sort of stuff. And the biggest part for me is really identifying what are those limiting beliefs that are keeping you small and stuck. Um, and I will tell you from, from a human behavior perspective, our two biggest limiting beliefs are that I am not enough, right? I am not worthy and I am not lovable. That resonated among the five, six, seven hundred people that were there um, over the last week, so it's pretty powerful. So of course you want to take those limiting beliefs and shift them into supporting, empowering beliefs. Anyway, that was just the beginning of the beginning. Uh, when we, the last couple of days we've been in wealth mastery and that idea of not saving your money but investing your money and what does that look like, all of that was brand new to me. Um, I've been pretty responsible with my money always, um, but really uh, small-minded about being responsible. So my invitation to you, naturally, is for you to start to think about all the things that you do desire, um, all the things that you do desire, and then start to identify what's in your way. And because everything starts with your thinking, I know it's your belief system that's in your way first. So go on now, go on now. Start to name those things that are keeping you small and stuck so that you can rewire those patterns of thinking so you can create something far more magnificent. And in the meantime, uh, you have a, a beautiful afternoon. We are on our way to get back in the airplane, head back to New Hampshire, um, make all that magic happen. Implement it, implement it, implement it. You have a fantastic afternoon.